Okay, today we're going to describe how to make a polyline with VCARVE based on measurements given to us by a client. Uh, so our measurements here are going to be 22 and a half by 14 and a quarter, 18 and 3 sixteenths, inch and a quarter here, and 40 and 3 quarters here. So we'll start with 0, 0 being at the bottom. So we'll go to our VCARVE program. Uh, we'll say file new and we'll make sure we tell it what our coordinates are for our material and then we're going to begin by drawing a polyline right here and we're going to start at the coordinates 0 0 in the bottom left hand corner I'm going to go ahead and add that line after I add that line, uh, the next length that I'm going to do is my first measurement, which if we go back here, I can see it's 22.5. So I'm going to go back to my length. This is how I know it'll go to the right, and I'll say 22.5. And I'll add, and if you watch right down here, you'll see it pop up. There we go faintly at the bottom and then uh, from there I can go up at a 90 degree angle alright so I want to go up at a 90 degree angle um, my measurement is going to be 14 and a quarter so I'm going here 14.25 and I'm going to add that line notice how it went up right so Next, I'm going to go to the left, and I'm going to get my measurement. That's 18 and 3 sixteenths. So I'm going to go back to VCARVE, and I'm actually going to take away the 90, because uh, I'm not going at a 90 degree angle here. I'm actually just going to go backwards. So I'm going to say negative 18.3. Look at my fraction to decimal chart. Uh, 3 sixteenths is 0.1875. Point one, oops, point 0.1875. And I'm going to add. So I'm there. And I'm actually going to finish that line. And I'll tell you why a little bit later. So I'm going to begin my coordinates back on 0, 0. Okay, so I start at the bottom left hand corner once again, and uh, I'm going to go up this time. I'm going to go up according to what my measurements say, 40 and 3 quarters. Okay, so I'm going to go up on the Y, right, because I'm going up this way. The Y is 40.75. And then I'm going to say add, and then my last measurement um, is going to be uh, at a 90 degree angle. I'm sorry, not a 90 degree angle, just uh, actually just to the right. So it's just going to be length, and uh, my measurements again were inch and three quarters. There we go, inch and three quarters, 1.75. I'm going to add, whoops, what happened here? Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, I put it in the wrong place here. Uh, 1.75. And add. And then I'm just going to connect my two lines. I'm going to make sure I get right on the dot. That's the way I need to connect. And then to uh, close this line, remember I made two separate lines, so I'm actually going to uh, I'll zoom out so you can see I'm going to click on this line and then uh, hold my phone so this will be hard, but I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click down, click on the other line hopefully you can see that, so first I clicked on this line and I held down my shift key to click on this line and now I'm going to join or close my vectors 
uh, with a straight line. Just, and then, there's the magic. You should be able to move the whole thing anywhere you want. You can duplicate this guy by copying it and pasting it. And if you wanted to fit two of these on one page, you could mirror it. Mirror selected objects, flip horizontally, vertically, and there you go. That's where you'd end up. All right. That's it for now.